Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to solve the birthday cake candles problem from HackerRank. So this problem is rated as easy and I'll be solving it in JavaScript. And just as a heads up, uh, my solution is not the most optimized out there, but it's one that's pretty easy to understand. So the situation that we have is we have a cake and it has a bunch of candles of varying heights. And we're giving this cake to our niece who for whatever reason can only blow out candles that have the maximum height. So our example here is that we have four candles and the max height of any candle is four and we have two candles with height four. So as a result, our niece can only blow out two candles. And the number that we want to return is that number of candles that can be blown out. So pretty straightforward and uh, the way you can approach this is in two stages. The first step is to find the maximum height and the second step is to count the number of candles with that maximum height. So we can just start coding here and the first thing that we want to do is find that max value. So we can just set a variable called max to zero first and then we want to loop through all of our integers. So AR is an integer array so we're just going to go through all of those values with a simple for loop. So we can just say uh, let i equals zero and we want to go until we run out of ints. So we just go for the length of AR and then we do our I++. So within our for loop, uh, what we want to check is that our max is less than the value that we're currently at. So we can say if max is less than AR index I, then we want to set our max to that value. So basically what this is doing is it's going through all of these candle heights and if you ever find a candle height that's higher than our current max then you want that to be our new max and then ultimately uh, once we've gone through all the heights we'll have the absolute maximum height of any candle in our list. So once we have our max we want to count the number of candles with that max. So we can just do this same exact loop um, and we can have a counter, let's call it candles. And every time we see our max equal um, our current candle height, we can increment our candles counter. And that's basically it. So all the last thing you gotta do is just return candles and we should be good to go. So if we just copy all this code over, paste it in here and run the tests, you'll see that we pass all the tests. So that's about it for this one. Uh, not too much to talk about, right? We just have our first part where we find the max and then the second part where we find the number of candles. So thanks for watching. Um, I definitely appreciate it and I'll hopefully see you in a future video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get to you definitely as soon as I can. Thanks again.